down. The night of October 1st, it was approximately 10 p.m., and a friend from Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department called me to make me aware of the situation and that they needed to use our armored personnel carriers. Battlefield Vegas' relationship with law enforcement has always been open door for them. They know they have access to anything we have, our buildings, our vehicles. When I got the call on that night, um, I asked my wife to call our operations manager and rally as many staff as she could. I have 16 staff show up and everybody's ready to roll. As we left here, we went down Dean Martin Avenue and it was just surreal that I'm going down the road in an APC. Uh, everybody is going the opposite way. People were running, people were screaming. People didn't know we were civilians. They thought we were National Guard. They thought we were police. And you would see people give us a thumbs up, like, all right, we got this. There's other pieces of identifying information. So it wasn't like he wanted to get away with it. I don't think anybody believed that when we went up into that room, we were going to find a 64-year-old white man responsible for this. We believe that we're probably going to be multiple shooters, and as that incident unfolded, we were focused on multiple shooters. Um, but when it came right down to it, that's what we found. And it was hard for any of us to believe, me included. I didn't believe it for days. Our suspect was identified as Stephen Craig Paddock, 64 years old, uh, a white male from Mesquite, Nevada. We have no um, investigative information or background associated with this individual that is derogatory. casinos, the rides, the games, the shows. Suit up, strap in, and get ready for action. Battlefield Vegas is now open to civilians. So walk, drive, or cab it to Battlefield Vegas and experience one of the hottest new attractions in town. It'll be a blast. Literally. What's up, Warriors? My name's Trevor, and welcome to Battlefield Vegas, the premier shooting range in Las Vegas. <laughs> So Battlefield Vegas is Las Vegas' largest premier shooting range where we house over 650 different weapons with 350 different weapon systems. So Battlefield Vegas really started from the brainchild of uh, New Frontier Armory and Lock and Load. The owners wanted to come together and kind of create an experience for customers in the middle of the city. And that has then turned into Battlefield Vegas. Here at Battlefield Vegas, we have different packages spanning different movie genres, video games. Uh, for example, if you're into World War II movies or video games, we have weapons like the MG42 the Grease Gun, uh, the Maxim, the Vickers, if you're into stuff that's a little more newer, we got your normal, your AKs, M4s, and even the MP7, which is one of the hardest guns to get right now. What really sets us apart is that everyone here is a U.S. veteran uh, from Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines. Plus, we do things a little bit differently. Other gun ranges, they're going to pick you up in a minivan, not us. We're going to pick you up in military Humvees right at your hotel. For everyone that thinks that we're just a gun range, we're not. We're also a sort of military museum where we have a bunch of different vehicles from all around the world, including helicopters, APCs, and tanks. And speaking of tanks, if you're wanting to crush a car with one, you can here at Battlefield Vegas. Thanks for watching, guys. Again, my name's Trevor, one of the managers here at Battlefield Vegas. I'm looking forward to hearing from everybody and seeing you guys here at the range. And for more information, please visit www.battlefieldvegas.com.